If you're an American, like I am, you live in the richest, most powerful nation in the history of the world. We have almost endless resources that could be used to solve any problem that we face. We could fund universal health care, which would even save us money. We could fund climate change mitigation measures. We could fund free higher education, better infrastructure, public transportation. We could end homelessness, build state-of-the-art schools, libraries, parks, and hospitals. We could ensure every American worker is compensated fairly for their work. We could have the American dream. Instead, all that money goes to the military to fund intervention in other countries. It goes to tax breaks for corporations. It goes to bailing out criminal industries that destroy the planet and the lives of countless human beings. Marxism, socialism, communism, pick whichever scary word you want. They represent the rejection of our dystopian state of affairs. They stand for the expansion of human freedom, for the acknowledgement of universal rights, for kindness, decency, and care for the less fortunate. Here. This is atrocious. The biggest lie you told us was about the virus. My God, you said it was five times more deadly than the flu, extremely more contagious, and asymptomatic. You knew that February 7th, and you did nothing. You didn't call on our great companies in this, in this country to make masks, make all our PPE that we required. Oh, eventually you did. But I know from being in the industry, you don't just get that equipment overnight. It takes planning. It takes process. It takes leadership, which you have none. You've led but only for your own personal self-interest. And Mr. President, as of today, there's 195,000 people dead in six months. Six months! My God, we, only lost, we lost 406,000 people in World War II, a war that lasted four years and covered the entire world. And we lost 190-some thousand Americans already. It has not suddenly disappeared. Even though we issue this executive order, doesn't mean COVID is gone. What it means is that we no longer need government running your lives. Instead, everybody must continue to assume their own individual responsibility to take the actions that they've already mastered to make sure that they will not be contracting COVID-19. Back pedal, back pedal, back pedal. That's all this motherfucker is doing is backpedaling now. Hey, Abbott, do you not understand that some people are, um, dumb? And they need regulation and they need mandates to remain so they are told what they're doing because they're not going to remember this shit. Do you not understand that, dude? It's a pattern in human history. How do you not know that? Jeez. I got this feeling inside my bones. You win the club, just to party, I'm there, I get paid a fee. It's right and I and I won't be long till I hit the guns fly, hit the guns fly. I'm living out in L.A. I drive a 